Welcome everyone, it's Jim, and we're back here with some more 99 Years of Billion Road with Rowdy Ross. How are you doing, Rowdy Ross? I'm doing very good, except I just ate a spicy chicken sandwich, so if you hear me uh, in pain and crying, I'm okay. I'm just hating myself for my two okay. choices. <laughs> Alright, so today we're going to go over the second part of Disney, the Disneyland trip. So, uh, looks like it's all you here, Rowdy Ross, because... You're going to read everything on the list, and then we'll go over it from there. All right, let's go. And I cleared this with you beforehand, so I know we're on the same page. All right, I'm just lowering so. our volume here a little on the game, and go ahead, you're up. All right, so we start off with Main Street USA. The attractions are the Disneyland Railroad, the Main Street vehicles of the horseless carriage, the fire engine, the horse-drawn streetcars, and the omnibus. We have the Opera House, the Disney Gallery, the Disneyland Story presenting great moments with Mr. Lincoln, and the Main Street Cinema. We have Disney Dining, the Carnation Cafe, Gibson Girl Ice Cream Parlor, the Refreshment Corner, Market House, the Main Street Fruit Cart, Little Red Wagon, and the Pl Plaza Inn, and the Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe. Then we move on to Adventureland. We have Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room, Dun the Jungle Cruise, Indiana Jones Adventure, and the Ad Adventureland Treehouse. And then for dining, we have the Tiki Juice Bar, the Tropical Hideaway, and the Bengal Barbecue. Then we move on over to New Orleans Square. I'm sorry, would that be the New Orleans Square? <laughs> Pirates. Pirates of the... That some of them get really uppity about that. Pirates of the Caribbean. Or Caribbean. Again, pronunciation. The Disneyland Railroad and the Haunted Mansion. Disney Dining is the Royal Street Veranda, the Blue Bayou Restaurant, and Cafe Orleans. Then we move on over to Critty Con Critter Country, the Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, and Davy Crockett's Explorer Canoes. That sounds like a liability. Disney Dining would be the Harbor Galley and the Hungry Bear Restaurant. Well, there, really, Wars... there really is a lot here. Do you want to take a break for a second? What, you think I'm getting out of, out of breath here? I don't know. It sounds like it. Excuse you. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Oh, wait, but yes. you got to be the dark salesperson again. Hey, man. Well, no, this is the narrator saying, hey, the dark salesperson is here again. Here you go. Jimmy, I have a splendid business idea I'd like to offer you. And it starts at Galaxy's Edge. Just a wee bit of an investment in, <laughs> in your glassworks at Kurashiki. Well, it will do wonders for the place's value. Let me help you here. Trust me, I'll make you rich. Ha, ha, ha. How much would you like to invest? All right, it's your one choice. Half portion, one quarter portion. Sorry. Still in the Star Wars thing. Look at my look uh, at my funds, by the way. Jesus. Compared to what he's asking for. Um, I feel like I made you do the highest one last time. No, I think he did maybe do the middle one because you didn't you weren't sure. Well, I'll tell you. Uh, I'm a uh, hundred mil. Okay. Hundred mil. Because not doing it wasn't an option. Ah, uh, wise decision. No, does, not doing it is definitely an option. Oh, for me, it is not an option. Oh, it's not? Okay, gotcha. Okay, good. A wise decision. You'll see results in one year. Heh <laughs> heh. All right, back to your, uh... Unless you want to take a break and discuss something. It's your no, choice. Okay. You going? All right, keep going. I'll keep going. Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. And then we have the dining options. Cat Sokka's Kettle. Ronto Roasters, Docking Bay 7 Food and Cargo, Oga's Cantina, and The Milk Stamp. Frontierland, Pirate's Lair on Tom Sawyer Island, The Mark Twain Riverboat, Sailing Ship Columbia, and The Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Dining over there is the Riverbell Terrace, the Stage Door Cafe, the Golden Horseshoe, Rancho del Zocalo Restaurante and Ship to Shore Marketplace. Fantasyland. Pinocchio's D 
Daring Journey. Snow White's Enchanted Wish. Sleeping Beauty Castle Walkthrough. The King Arthur Carousel. Casey Jr. Circus Train. Dumbo the Flying Elephant. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Peter Pan's Flight. The Mad Tea Party. Alice in Wonderland. Storybook Land Canal Boats. Matterhorn Bobsleds. It's a Small World, written in all lowercase. And the Fantasyland Theater. Disney Dining would be Maurice's Treats, the Red Rose Tavern, the Troubadour Tavern, and the Eldevice Snacks. And Mickey's Toontown has Disneyland Railroad, Goofy's How to Play Yard, Donald Duck's Pond, Chippendale's Gadget Coaster, Mickey's House, and Minnie's House. I see they have split and have separate locations now. A oh, very astute observation there. That's, that's upsetting. Furthermore, in Mickey's Toontown, we have Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Now the relationship is really confusing. <laughs> and Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin. And the Disney dining uh, options are the Good Boy Grocers and Cafe Disney. Then we move on to Tomorrowland. The Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage. The Disneyland Monorail. Autopia. Disneyland Railroad. Space Mountain, Star Tours, The Adventures Continue, The Astro Orbiter, Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, with Disney Dining being the Galactic Grill, The Spirit of Refreshment, and Alien Pizza Planet, A Better Place. And that covers everything in the map I had. Very good job, Rowdy Russ. So, where do we begin here? You're the one that went. Let's see. Well, why don't we do the question first? Okay. So go ahead, read off the question again. And then give me your answer. Which do you prefer? A water show or a fireworks show? Um, I, I think I kind of touched on this last time, but thinking about it, I definitely, I feel like I definitely prefer a water show. Fireworks are kind of a dime a dozen. You even see them on TV, obviously, every year, 4th of July, and you go see fireworks. Water shows, I think, are more rare, and uh, I guess there's a lot more variety of what you can do. You can put ships on the water, you can project things on the water, you can shoot shit out of the water. Fireworks are fireworks. I enjoy fireworks, don't get me wrong, but uh, for the topic of the question, I think I'd pick a water show. All right. Now, for me, it is, especially after seeing World of Color at Disneyland, it is definitely a water show. You know, because when I did Disney in 2021, I was at the fireworks and I was like, it's okay. You know, I think part of my problems with the fireworks show is, number one, you're, it, it, there's a good chance you're not going to, unless you're there really early, you're not going to get a good spot for it. Well, you know, when it comes to Disney, I'm not talking about fireworks in general. I'm just talking Disney stuff here. And then, like, at least in the water show, you hear everything, you see everything. Like, you hear things in the fireworks, like, you know, the fireworks show. But in addition to, you know, the dialogue from the Disney movies and whatnot, you, it gets interrupted because you hear the fireworks explosions. Right. Because the water, you there's very little that interferes with it. Just, it's, you know, the sound of water, which isn't really that loud for the most part. Yeah, it could be calming for some people. Right. Um, that's true. Also, if you're not attuned to loud, like, if you don't enjoy loud noises, fireworks can be a little upsetting. Like, you always see kids with those, the earmuffs, for lack of a better yeah. term. Um, but, you know, a good water show can be enjoyed by all. Yes. All right, so let's talk. Let's start with Mickey's Toontown. So Toontown, this was their big uh, revamp of Toontown that I believe launched in March of 2023. Mm -hmm. Why is he just going around in circles? Money is just just going around in circles. I don't understand why. Anyway, that's, that's a <laughs> metaphor for life. Just going around in circles <laughs> trying to make ends meet, and you just can't get out of it. 
Meanwhile, you're up in the clouds. Like, what are you doing? I am flying. Right, you're flying. Get you're ready to the cloud. Get ready to you're fly. Okay, AJ. <laughs> I am. Um... I am. <laughs> I'm almost sure I've said this before on Billion Road because I was in this plane. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say, but you got your head in. He's trying to make ends meet, going around in circles. You got your head in the clouds, and I think he's out in front of you. Yeah, he's in the in the overall placement. Yeah, he's two away right now. I meant in the overall rankings. Oh, after every year. Well, Money Ninja's in first. I know that much, which why I don't understand, because he has the bad monster, but he's just going around in circles. Oh, is this? Oh, I, no, I thought this was not. Anyway, Toontown. Massive overhaul was launched. I I think partially launched because um, the time wise because Universal Nintendo World was launched in Universal around that same time, and it's better to be honest with you. And I think the biggest significance to me is, or the biggest difference, is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, a ride that I like a lot, and. The queue, I think we talked about it on our on the Hollywood Studios episode. The queue is pretty boring. It's kind of just walking and very few things. It. Look, he's just going in circles. Why? I. I mean, what is that top left? That like rainbow looking? Is that a property? He's yeah, it's just a on? property. I mean, is it that important to him? Maybe. You've been playing this stuff for 23 goddamn years. I would <laughs> hope you know. Um, has has no other computer ever done that? I don't think so. I mean, it's good for me because if he has the bad monster and he keeps getting, you know, if he keeps getting bad things happening to him, then that's great for me. But it's just weird. Anyway, so yeah, uh, the what the Q though in. Mickey's Toontown is amazing, Ross. It has so many little nods to old Mickey Mouse stuff like, you know, Fantasia and the older cartoons. And then, like, they have a movie posters of... God damn, he made it. Okay. Movie posters of parody movies of what like the original came out as like for example there's a poster called the chipmunk trap which is a okay. parody of the parent trap and it's just like Figures. the poster only it's you know the mother and the father are donald and daisy and the twins are chip and dale very nice so it's like stuff like that and I, it's very very enjoyable uh i and, and that's also i'm not gonna get too much into this but it's also where I probably had the second biggest conversation on that queue with two people because I have an all elite wrestling backpack. Uh, and, okay. and they and that day in particular, I was wearing an orange Cassidy shirt. Oh, okay, I know that shirt. So <laughs> about halfway in the queue, the two guys in back of me, they're like, oh, you, you like a AEW? I'm, they're like, I'm like, all right, yes. Granted, I liked it more a few years ago than I do probably right now. And we're not here for a wrestling talk, but I'm just saying that was also part of this Q experience. Right. Um, the, the, and the, um, the ride itself actually has an extra scene than it does in, in Florida, surprisingly. And I picked up on that right away because I was like, this definitely, this little portion was definitely not in Florida. So, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway really is by far better in California than it is in Florida. Why does it... Maybe maybe I should hold this until the end, but to me it feels like even though Disney World is bigger, I feel like Disneyland gets the cooler shit. Also, you know what I also noticed? Remember how I said on... Um, our last episode that uh, Disney California Adventure, I, I don't even think that's a full day park. Yeah. I would argue that Disneyland is at least a day and a half park. 
Okay. I mean, look at that list that you just read there. How many rides were yeah. there? Yeah, you were telling me to take a breather, and that's insulting. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it is it is a lot of stuff. I feel like this one uh, map that I'm reading from is had more content than any of the single Disney World ones we were going over in the previous series. Yeah. So... And yet, this is the the California one doesn't really get much love compared to, I guess the equivalent would be the Magic Kingdom, because mm -hmm. it has a lot of similar rides to the Magic Kingdom. Frontierland, Tomorrowland, yeah. This this is absolutely, well, this was first, so Magic Kingdom came off this. Right. Yeah. It's like they chose some of that stuff that to only include. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, I don't think. Florida has, like, the first thing that stuck out in my mind, Pinocchio's Daring Journey. What the hell is, what, what do you, get swallowed by a fucking whale? Basic dark ride, they're telling the story of Pinocchio, not so much okay. different than, like, I did that one. Oh, guess, guess what I didn't do while I was there? Uh, I don't know, what didn't you do? Pinocchio, not Pinocchio, um, Peter Pan. No? No. Too, bu too busy? Or? Too busy, and you know what, I ha I don't know if I'm going to get too much into this for this episode, um, which means maybe at the end I might talk about this, meaning, I don't know, maybe another bonus episode of this, because I don't know if we're going to... The more I'm thinking about it, and the more that I'm looking, we're already in October in this game. I don't know if we're going to fit everything in this episode. Um, the... Well, that's probably... Probably because it took me so goddamn long to read it. Peter Pan, yeah, I looked at Peter Pan and it was... I did Genie Plus for the second day. Peter mm -hmm. Pan is not on the list for Genie Plus. You cannot get a, a Genie Plus Lightning Moon for that. Now, I'll... I don't think there's anything on this guide that would indicate a Genie Plus... Like, there's no... Uh, there's an icon for Handicap Accessible... HC, I don't know what that stands for, and there's the Disney D with a couple lines next to it. So I'm not sure what any of that crap means. Right, right. I don't, I don't see a genie. Well, I think it's new. Uh, I think Genie Plus was a new thing that was introduced in the spring of 2023. Well, like any good map, shouldn't there be a key or some shit? Agreed. There is a list on the oh, website of, oh, of Genie Plus of what qualifies and oh, what doesn't. Oh God. So anyway, no, I didn't do Peter Pan's flight. Jeez. Like, whatever, it's the same thing from what I read. It's basically the same thing. It's not like Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, where it's much There better. is an icon for Lightning Lane. But you gotta be careful with that, because that doesn't mean that it's Genie Plus. Like, for example, Rise of the Resistance has a, probably has a Lightning Lane thing on it, but that's not part of Genie Plus. That's part it... of, you can you have to buy that by itself. Good God. Just... Same thing with Radiator Springs in California Adventure. That's not uh, a GD Plus included as well. Alright, let's talk about... Just let me find the guy who's responsible for organizing the pricing structure of the Disney parks. Give me five minutes in a room alone with him. We'll fix all this up. Continue. How about something in better news? How about a redemption arc? Are you ready for that? Um, what redemption do you have in Disney? I know mine would be settling things with Tigger, but what's yours? Getting to ride Rise of the Resistance. Oh, okay. I got on... Now, let me ask you this. Do you want spoilers? Because I could have you leave for, like, three minutes and while I talk to people about Rise of the Resistance. I mean, I... As far as I'm obviously, I still love the Star Wars movies, the original ones, the new trilogy is what it is. I fell off on half the shows that have come since. I know, so me too. Just, just. Are you, are you even watching the. Um... Ah Ahsoka? Yeah. No. Okay, no, no. Me neither. I know who's come in. I know some of the, you know, cameos. I heard Andor's and really good. That's I, Yeah, I always watching. heard it was good. But yeah, so yeah, throw, All right, so throw some spoilers. Take a take a pause here on my gameplay so I can. So I was a hundred percent prepared to spend twenty five dollars on a lightning lane for Rise of the Resistance on day two. It's like, there's, there's got to be some kind of redemption here because the first day I tried to 
try to go at like 9.30 at night, 9.30, 10 o'clock at night to see if that would work. It didn't. I was like, okay, still too long. Um, then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, after I did Smuggler's Run, again, I think I did it twice, um, not on the same thing, like I did it the day before as well. Also, I look at Rise of the Resistance, like, a 40-minute wait? That's doable compared to all that's, the other times that I have seen that's, it. That's not inhuman. <laughs> right. Like, the average I would say that I saw for Rise of the Resistance was probably, like, mm, 60 to 80 minutes. That was the average. Like, I can do 40. Also, right. I think we talked about in the last episode, much like Radiator Springs, that is another one that seems to be down a lot. In fact, the first day I went to try for it, on day one, and it was down at like three o'clock in the afternoon. Hmm. Um, so I wait online, and then at one point nothing was moving. I'm like, "Oh no, here it comes!" And I'm I about to spend a terrible mistake. Twenty-five dollars on the lightning lane. Here we go. Because trust me, I I wanted redemption with this friggin' ride. So I was I was a hundred percent prepared for that $25 for the lightning lane. Especially because it was the second day, so I don't have another another day to do it. So I get on. It is a very unique ride. A ride that I would say is in three parts. <laughs> so the first part, you get your, um, you know, your Ray hologram, and they're talking to you about, oh, we're sneaking aboard the um, the enemy ship or whatnot, you move from that room, literally go outside, and walk a very short distance to the next, to, to like another like building. So, then you're in that building, and you're getting told of, um, you know, Finn's on, on the ship and all of that, and then it's like, uh-oh, we got taken over by the... Um, uh, what's their, the, the First Order, right? That's their name. Why am I blanking? Yes. So, by the First Order. So then the First Order opens your ship, and it's interesting. It's, I like that, you know, for all Disney rides or whatnot, there's always the, fr the friendly helping people. No, these people give you an attitude because they've caught you. Um, and they tell you to, to go and wait in this, like, section or whatnot. And then comes the escape part, where the resistance is having you escape. I mean, you're passing some cool visuals, like there are lines of stormtroopers. You're like, it feels like you're on the actual ship. They have the um, what are the big tall things? They have those. Uh, Ross, help me out here. What for the first order? Yeah, like the the weapons, like that you can shoot. They can shoot the. What is it I mean, called? The tall, the tall things, uh, the at ats, the ATATs, ATSTs, Maybe that's, the things that's... that walk. The yeah, walkers. The, yeah, the walkers. Yeah, yeah. So there's a couple of those in the room too, as you're walking by, and then like, oh, the resist, the resistance is coming. You know, let's make our escape. Then the ride turns into a dark ride, because then you go just like you would do on your regular, um, you know. Winnie the Pooh, you know, you know, I'm talking about that system, yeah, that kind of system. right. And you're kind of getting jilted all over the place because this is your escape. This is how you're now escaping the enemy ship. And then you go, and at some point, you go to the second floor. Your escape gets up there. Uh, the ride had a brief pause at this point, and to be honest with you, that was probably the setting was actually pretty freaky. Um. But then it went right back up again, and so you make your way, you're, you're, you're to tossing, you're turning as you make your escape, and then finally, and I think I had told you about this because I was waiting to see how bad this was going to be, you get a drop. And it makes 100% where the drop is because it's basically you escaping from the ship. Um, mm -hmm. Not bad, um, especially it's for those that haven't ridden Rise of the Resistance, it is very, very obvious where your drop is going to be, based on 
um, you know, looking ahead in the schematics of the ride. And then you're basically home to safety and you leave. And there it was, Rise of the Resistance. And it opens you up into the gift shop. No, actually, it's Probably. Well, surprisingly it did it. No, that was Star Tours, which I did, oh, okay. did, I did that twice. Um... I probably would have done it more, actually, if I had more time. That's what I'm saying. If I ever go back to Disneyland, I might opt to do, like, three days or four days. Because I do feel like, again, Disneyland... I underestimated how big Disneyland was, and I underestimated my ability that I could do everything. Because there's a bunch of things that I would have liked to actually do. And I didn't really have that much I didn't have that much downtime. You know what I'm saying? Right. Do you have any questions mm -hmm. about Rise? Um So Kylo that can get away with just being a masked dude. Was there any video footage? Like was any any footage of the real actors produced for this? Yes. Um, okay. I don't know if it was Kylo. I'm trying to think what they did with with Kylo. I think he was just a a, a thing on the video screen. Well, yeah, like, right. It could just be a dude in a mask, and maybe Adam Driver recorded audio. But right. you know, if you have uh, Finn, you can't you know not have Finn. Oops, I wanted to buy the luxury car dealership. I didn't realize that all my money was going to go towards the IT corporation. Well, you'll get all your money back as soon as your investment pays off. I think I do his voice different every time. Look what the most expensive thing on this section is. The high-rise apartment. It's more That's than, weird. I wonder why. It's more than the TV guess, broadcasting studio. I guess it's, you can rent it out for a bunch of... Uh, get your money back quick. I don't know. Maybe. Um, so let's see, what else did I want to make note of here? I also did the Indiana Jones ride for the first time. I've definitely never done that ride before. And I'll be honest with you, Ross, I don't know how there are not more injuries to come out from that ride. You're talking about the r ride or the stunt show? The ride. Uh, where was the, hold on. I don't, I think I glossed over it because I started speed reading. Oh, Indiana Jones Adventure. So what the hell goes on with that because i don't remember that i yeah. don't know if that's a fairly new thing or maybe i was too young i think i was too young like, i probably i could see me being younger being like yeah i'm not doing this and i was like then i was i looked at that and said you know what i can do this one sure it is you got a bunch of people they go in the cart and you're basically in i think like a mine cart and you're okay and you are going at a pretty fast speed i'm not saying like it's ridiculously fast the problem is it's very bumpy and very tilty and it, in fairness it does warn you like if you have you know serious back problems you shouldn't ride the ride right but i'm just like really surprised even neck i'm just like how did this ride exist for so long and no one's been injured because i felt like i was gonna be injured and i'm not i mean i'm not the most I'm not the most healthy person, but I'm also not the most unhealthy person. Right. You get someone who's maybe elderly that maybe watched the Indiana Jones movies 30 years ago and want to do it. Then they get whiplash. Um, yeah. I, oh there are, there are small gonna, drops. There are small drops on it. There's, like I said, it goes fast. And I mean, when it tilts, just picture yourself like in, uh, it, like sitting on your seat and all of a sudden you go left and then all of a sudden you go right and then left and right yeah. and the rapids like it's and then sometimes I, back it, and forth too i'm picturing it i'm kicking myself because i can't remember the name of the movie which one the, of the original three but there was the one with the little kid short round and there's a getaway scene in mine carts like that so i'm i, I can picture that and just translate it into a you know amusement park ride mm -hmm. Um, I'm thinking uh, Super Nintendo World needs to adapt something like that and have Donkey Kong Country minecarts. 
Well, they are doing something like that. They're doing. Well, they damn well better, and I, I want. I hope it's not. I... I hope it's not as janky as Indiana Jones. I mean, if if, if you did it true to life, you'd be jumping over uh, chasms and avoiding uh, crocodiles in other minecarts racing at you at high speeds. I don't know. Just saying, it could work. It doesn't sound like a ride that I would probably do. I'm just talking, well, after my Indiana Jones experience, that's all I'm going to say. But did you die? I didn't die, no. Okay. Is he still back in this goddamn circle he's doing? No, well, this is a different guy. Money Ninja was Oh, whatever. Ninja, please. Sorry, So, by I the way, I also did not uh, go to um, Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> I mean, there's, um, a, no. look at, there's a lot of things I didn't do. I didn't do the Tiki Room this time. I guess in my mind, I was thinking, oh, it's the same show. Probably. Did you try a Dole Whip? No, I did not. You bastard. I forgot about it. Uh, newer, oh, Pirates, of course, I did that. Uh, Haunted Mansion Overlay. I used my bastard. Genie Plus Pass for that one, because that worked for how, that. How packed? Very. Well, here's what happened. So my my original strategy, I'll tell you right now, my original strategy at Rope Drop was going to be go left, do Indiana Jones first, then go to Pirates, because that was like another one over, and then I put in, remember, I got in Genie Plus, so I, was, I put in for the Lightning Lane for Haunted Mansion and had it set for nine o'clock ross this this plan went horrible this plan did not work out for me for the most part so indiana jones for some reason that morning i didn't feel good like my stomach was bothering me i don't know what it was i were i'm online for indiana jones and it had nothing to do with a previous night of drinking i did not drink the previous night that would have been monday oh okay go ahead sorry uh so i didn't feel well and I'm waiting online for Indiana Jones, and, well, you know, there's a delay. All right, I'm like, all right, let me, let me wait here for, like, another 10, 15 minutes to, to see. Now, at this point, I already put in my Haunted Mansion, I think it was, like, 9 o'clock. Because my thinking at 8 o'clock was, this, Pirates, by then it'll be 9 o'clock for me to, or at least close to there, for me to jump on Haunted Mansion. And then just I just couldn't get it. I I still don't know what it was because it wasn't just that day. I, my stomach was bothering me like on, I don't know, like me. Like, it was weird. It was only in the morning up until about ten or eleven o'clock, and then I was fine. On multiple days. So hmm. then I'm waiting on Indiana Jones, and I'm like, and then I'm like, oh god, I'm looking at the ride and seeing like the how it like tilts and goes forward and left and right. I'm like, you know what? this might not be a good idea for my stomach right now. So I leave. And I'm like, alright, well, I know, I, 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 my bar is going to be pirates, because as long as I can handle the two drops there, then I could just move forward with my day. So I do pirates. At the, not a, It's a pretty short line, I think. What, five, ten minute wait? Something like that. Um, I do pirates. I'm like, alright, I'm feeling a little bit better. I feel like the pressure's off a bit for some reason like i think it had to do with the weather too for some reason i'm like all right i got pirates done now it's time for me to go to haunted mansion i go to haunted mansion and they say that uh what, what was it that the ride shut down right now so we have given you a lightning lane to use for later so two out of the three I wasn't able to do in my strategy. One because of my my stomach that I didn't feel well, and the other because they shut it down in the, in the morning. Um, I was going to say something, but I completely forgot. I apologize for de derailing this whole thing. That's right. It was, good. It was a good one, too, I promise. <laughs> sure it was. Uh, one of the other highlights from my trip was... Surprisingly, it's a small world. 
Really? Oh, I, I remembered what I was going to ask you. Pirates over there has two drops? I think so, yeah. I thought Florida Pirates had two drops, too. I know of one. All right, maybe... I, okay, so yeah, I guess Pirates has two drops, because I remembered two drops. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, so, it's a small world, after all. Ross, the It's a Small World is so much better in California. Really? You know, I think we talked a little bit about this before, but because they have Disney characters throughout It's a Small World, like as Easter eggs, it's so fun to try to, like, find as many as you can. Apparently, I only caught, like, half of the ones that were there. For example, like when they're you, the China section will have Mulan and Mushu were there was there. Okay. At one point, like on one of the overheads where there was Aladdin and Jasmine on the on the carpet. Um, I'm just trying to think of some of the noteworthy ones. At some point, Woody was there. Woody and Jesse. Um. Cinderella, I know I saw her at some point on there. You know, they're all in doll form, obviously. It's not like... They're like, um, as... It's a small world doll. But it's them. Do you know what I'm saying or no? Yeah, no, I got you. And they're sprinkled throughout the different areas. Yeah. So it's just fun looking for all those. And then after... Well, not right after that. Later in... I wasn't expecting this to be one of my favorite things on the trip, but it was. They had a, um, a light show on It's a Small World for Encantos, We Don't Talk About Bruno. Oh my god. And I just thought it was so funny that this ride was still going on while this light show of We Don't Talk About Bruno was on. I'm like, can you imagine? You're, like, you didn't know that this was happening? And people just walk in, I was like, what the hell is this? Which then I stayed- Sounds like my nightmare. And now, and oh, you're not a fan of We Don't Talk About Bruno? I'm not a fan of It's a Small World. Uh, and d d d I should say Disney's number one song, We Don't Talk About Bruno, of all time. Is it really all time now? Yes, it is. Which I'm thrilled with because... Well, what, Frozen apparently wasn't number two, surprisingly. But definitely... Def uh, it, it, or I should say Let It Go. I'm definitely thrilled that it beat Let It Go. I think number two was Can You Feel the Love Tonight. I think that's the okay, I'll, I'll accept that. But I'm very happy that we don't talk about Bruno's number one. Uh, anyway, I love that. I love the light show. And then I stuck around because they did like a special Halloween Light show, I think they might have done this in place of the fireworks because it was drizzling a little bit. And I feel like if it's drizzling or there's a chance of rain, maybe they don't do the fireworks. Maybe. Um, I feel like I got a fireworks show when it was kind of drizzling down in Florida one of the last times, but. And it kept. Like, the humidity and the rain kept the smoke down, which that was always fun. Uh, let's see, what else did I want to point out here? Oh, I went to the- I did make it to the cantina, which is something that I said that I wanted to do. Right. So, you need a reservation, even though I had- it was just a kind of a walk-in reservation. So it wasn't real- like, it was basically, make a reservation. Oh, okay, great. Five minutes later, there's your notice that your reservation's ready. So, like, any normal restaurant. Right. So, look, it it was fine. I, I don't know, maybe I hyped myself up too much for it. I wanted there to be something super special going on. Right. And there wasn't. <laughs> Although, <laughs> the, the bartender and I were chatting a bit, <laughs> and... At that point, I had had a bunch of drinks in me. Um, for, and, and it should be noted that that was day one that I did the uh, the Cantina, not day two. Because um, day two is the one where I did World of Color. D and so in day one, while I'm at the Cantina, I'm like, out of curiosity, since I know you guys are closing, you know, in the next half hour, do you guys do, like, how regular bars do 
they'll do something, whether it's flicker the lights on and off and say last call or, you know, play a song to get everyone out of there and settle their tab. Do you guys do anything? And he was like, no, unfortunately not. I'm like, that's, that's a shame. That's a bummer to me because I was kind of expecting something to happen there. You there? So they can't they can't force people to leave. Uh, no, I think you. Well, here's the thing. So yes, because so I just went in for a drink. Apparently, you can only have two drinks per thing, and you have to have them within forty five minutes, which is pretty easy to be honest with you. But it is a timer, basically, where, like, oh, it's been 45 minutes, so that's when they can kind of get you out of there. I don't know if the same timer... It's definitely a timer, but I don't know how long it is if you wanted an actual table for food and drink. I don't know if that's the same thing. But I think I said to him, like, come on, you guys don't even do that, uh... <laughs> that B. Arthur song from the Star Wars Holiday Special. My God. And you can tell, I can just tell, like, so his, he, he had a little bit of a laugh, and he, he's like, oh yeah, that's a good one. And I'm like, all right, to me, that's an answer of, I'm being nice, and I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Throw out some more trivia, like Bon Jovi being on the record from the Christmas thing. What, say that again? I'm sorry, you can cut off a little throw bit. It, throw out other trivia, like Bon Jovi being on the album for the Christmas special. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see, what else? Let me, let me take a look and see if there's anything other noteworthy. I certainly wasn't doing the canoes, that's for sure. I, like I said, Fuck it sounds that. like a liability. Fuck that. I, I'm not here to do work. <laughs> Mush. Mush. Well, that's what they do. They do definitely do it in sync, because I did l overlook and see, uh, the, the guy instructing, like, all right, so you're going to go one... Two and then one. I'm like, no, I'm not doing this. There's no way. I'm not here to do work. Uh, and then I also went on Winnie the Pooh and I saw a very special character that I sent you a picture of. Yeah, I know. He was out and about, Ross Tigger. No, no doubt raising trouble. Let's see. Is there anything else? Uh... I mean, I know there definitely is. Like you said, we saw the, the Halloween thing on the screen. Which is so funny because Waka, I'm so glad for the cast member that told told us when we were watching We Don't Talk About Bruno. She was like, all right, you guys can stay up in the front for the We Don't Talk About Bruno. But after that, because of the Halloween thing, we need you guys to kind of back up a little bit. And then, like, I don't know why, because it's not like there were any fireworks. But I'm glad that she said that to us, because I just stayed where I was and got a good seat for that, as opposed to trying to get a good spot in front of the castle. Like, I didn't have to do anything, and if she had not said that, I would not have known that you could have done that. Mm-hmm. It's a good... Was that a, what, a parade? No, it was, it, it's sort of like the We Don't Talk About Bruno thing, where it's... Like a picture show. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's a good, like, finding a good spot for a parade is always, always feels good. It's like, you just happen to stumble into one that people haven't crowded by yet. You say, yeah, let's stick around. That's the worst that could happen. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, which, well, I guess we'll talk a little bit about that, because I did catch some of the parade when I came back into the park. Uh, so... The spot I got got was I thought was pretty good, even though I wasn't there for the whole parade. Uh, it, it was like on the stairs f to the railroad at the front of the um, you know at the front of the at the front of the park, mm -hmm. and it was great because I you got an aerial a little bit of an aerial view, and right after it was done, I was like, guess what? I'm hopping on this train right now because Main Street is gonna be a wreck. Now that the parade's over. <laughs> Let's see. What what else? Do you have anything that you want me to touch on here? Let me see. Any other food recommendations since you blew off the Dole Whip? No, I just had pizza at the at the hotel. 
I bought like a pie at the beginning of the week. I was like, all right, I'm eating two slices now, and then the other six will be a meal for a later time. And my co my pl the place where I stayed was so close. It's like stupid not to go back and just you know have a cool down period. Oh, I did Finding Nemo: The Submarine Voyage. That was the thing. How what was how was that? It was okay. Uh, you could definitely tell the old ride was ten thousand leagues under the sea. <laughs> Because Nemo doesn't even appear until about, like, five to ten minutes when the ride begins. Uh, they almost forgot to redress it for him. Um, oh, I did, <laughs> here's a funny story. I did Drunk Mr. Toad. So I wanted to record. And like I said, this is from day one now. I'm back on day one, because that's really why I did my Disneyland, my Disney drinking stuff. Before I went to the cantina, I did Disney California Adventure, the few spots I did there. Uh, ooh, we could buy... I don't know if I want to buy the resort. That's cutting it a bit close. Alright, let me finish telling the story and then I'll figure it out. So, after I finished the cantina, now the park closes at 11 o'clock. The cantina closed at 10.30. So my thing was like, all right, let me do I have a couple of drinks to me. Let me do a live stream and see if we can get something done during the night. I It was too dark where I'm like, I don't think anyone can even see anything here. Like, I, the, it's weird because like, okay, Disneyland outside of Toontown and Galaxy's Edge is a pretty straightforward, you know, round circle except for those mm -hmm. two. And I don't know, I just felt like coming from Galaxy's Edge back to that main circle was not lit up well. And I was like, all right, so I'm not doing this. Um, I'm like, all right, let's try to get on one more ride before I go. At that point, it's, I did get on a little bit, and I was like, all right, we're going to What was I going to play? I was playing, let's try to get to the entrance without the map, because since I was doing a stream, I couldn't really access the map on my phone. I feel like I remember you going live with that. Yeah. So then what happened? It's so like I said, I'm, I, I've had a bunch of drinks in me at this point, And the Cantina one, I had to do two pretty quickly. So, and you know, both were mixed drinks. Um, it, was, it wasn't a challenge, but... You no, it wasn't it a long. challenge, but but anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of lit now. And... I'm like, all right, I got to get on something. Cause, oh, because that's what it was. But I was doing the stream, and then I realized it hit 11 o'clock. I'm like, wait, am I wrong? I'm like, no one seems to be leaving here. There's No one seems to be kicking, being kicked off of any rides at all. Why? I'm like, that's it. Fuck it. I'm staying here. You got to kick me out. And so I stopped the stream because then I go went to go do Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. And then, because I was so, like, amped up with the alcohol and just being energetic, now I'm, now I'm like, oh, good, we can stay. I can stay longer now. I got online, and one woman got in back of me. She was, I guess, another solo traveler because she was by herself. And then they cut off the line for Mr. Toad. Like, all right, I guess this is it then. So, Mr. so I did Drunken Mr. Toad, right? Since no one else was basically around except for the one woman behind me and they had her way back. Like they did like, for the last couple of people, they did like one and then like four, four, like three cars empty and then the next person. I don't know why they did it that way at all, but they did it that way. So as I'm going through Mr. Toad's Wild Rod, I'm like criticizing Mr. To Toad, like, like you're a fucking terrible driver. <laughs> Because <laughs> I know there are no kids there. It's just the woman in, in the back, and she's like three things back. Like, There's no way she can hear me. By the way, forgot. Eat. Okay, do you remember Mr. Toad's Wild Ride at all? I don't. So there's one part where he's with the judge, and I guess he goes to hell. Do you remember Mr. Toad? The, not movie, because it wasn't really a movie. I don't remember anything about Mr. Toad. Okay, so... I just, I just know the phrase, Mr. Toad, Toad's Wild Ride. Okay. Like, I know that's a thing. So, he they insinuate that he dies, which in 
the short. I don't okay. actually think he dies. I think he fakes his death, if I'm not mistaken. So the ride is, I don't think is accurate. I'm not really that sure. Um, so when he goes to hell, it is so hot. They actually, I don't, they put up the heat to a ridiculous amount to get that feeling. Immersion. I was like, oh my god. Because <laughs> it comes yeah. right out, you could just go into one room, I think, and then all of a sudden it's heated. And supposedly, if I actually made it on Alice in Wonderland, there's like a warmer spot in Alice in Wonderland because it's next to Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. And it feels the heat. That's funny. You know how I simulate being in hell? How? I go on It's a Small World. I don't know. I think you would like California It's a Small World. So you're, you're scrolling through these things. I made an observation <laughs> while we were just paused. And the only reason I, th I thought of it is because you pointed this out before. How the uh, high-rise apartment was 100 billion yen. Yeah. A major league baseball stadium was only 50 billion. <laughs> to me, that seems asinine. Maybe that's just me. I don't know what to tell you, boss. But yeah, so that I'm was just... my... That was my Disneyland trip. I'm just looking to see real quick if there's anything else. I mean, I did... Star Tours, we talked about that. I was gonna, I was gonna ask you. So you said you did it twice. Yes. Um. Was is there ever any like movie you'd like to see represented, but you never get it? Not like really. for me, for me, I don't. I think maybe once of the over a dozen times I've been on the revamped one, maybe only once did I get the actual trench run from the first movie that was the original Star Tours. Okay. One. Once. You bastards. <laughs> well, what, what is there? There's a ridiculous amount of different scenarios I read. I kind of feel like it's in the 20s. Uh, yeah, because there's... It, 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 and it's pumped up because there's it's separated by, like, three sections. So each time you light jump, it could, you know, it shuffles the deck, basically. So there's a whole, you know, you can go, you might have the same beginning, but the middle might be different and the ends might be different. So that's kind of how it works. At least that's how I always understood it to work. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I also did Roger Rabbit's cart uh, cartoon spin. I don't think I mentioned that. The Disney Railroad was a big help, by the way, for this whole, this whole thing. Uh, never went on the uh, Mark Twa Twain Riverboat. I don't know what that was like. I mean, like, to me, the biggest win for me on this thing was doing Rise of the Resistance without having to buy a lightning lane, because I was definitely very prepared to buy a lightning lane. For you that. had that credit card in hand. In hand. In, uh, my, I think I, I specifically said, all right, if I can't get on this ride by 3 p.m. today, we're doing a lightning lane. For day two. I, I don't remember if you said so I, I understand lightning lane has to be a separate purchase um well technically they... lightning lanes are what they call for genie plus like regular lightning lanes that are included with genie plus there's just some that are not covered under genie plus as complimentary what the fuck kind of ppo health insurance Ponzi scheme bullshit is this. I know. Sorry, this ride isn't covered. You need to <laughs> buy an additional coverage. Yeah, Mickey and Minnie's Railway also not covered, by the way. Oh my god. Because I kept looking at that one because I heard how much better the queue was. And I so I kept checking to see if it was like a low wait time. And then obviously I went on when I went on. And uh, yeah, that one is another one that's one that I want to do, or that I did, that is not covered. And like I said, surprisingly, Peter Pan's Flight. I'm very surprised that one's not covered, actually. I, I don't understand it. And, like, the meal plans are pretty much gone. Like, it's only been five years since mm -hmm. we went, four years. And it's just so ass-backwards. But I'm sure once you're there, it's fun, but it's like understanding what you're allowed to do with the level of ticket that you bought. It's just, 
Well, I'll tell you what, if you ever do Genie Plus, you can always do, I don't know if we talked about this, you could do stacking if you can figure it out and stack your, your lightning leads. And that does what exactly? All right, so the rule for Genie Plus is, from what I've learned, and I'm going to assume that this is the same thing for Florida, but I really don't know. Quite frankly, if you're in Florida, you don't need a Genie Plus for Epcot. I don't even know if you really need one for Animal Kingdom, but... If, if anything in Ep if there's anything in Epcot, you need something like a fast lane Genie Plus, whatever the hell it is, uh, Soren probably, because I think that's or, still... Or Fig... Yeah. Fig I could see Figment being uh, a lightning lane, too. To be honest. Okay, so if you bought it ahead of time, like my cousin did, he was able to book his first ride at 7 a.m. in the morning, and the parks open at 8. Or I think they all open at 8. That's, no, that's not true, because Epcot opened late. Epcot was like a 10 a.m. opening. I remember. I remember that. Um, now, when you have one reserve, you can't... You can't reserve another one until one of two things happen. Either A, you do the one that you chose, or B, two hours go by. So at about like 10 or 11 o'clock, remember I told you that I, due to my stomach, I wasn't able to do Indiana Jones? Right. So at about 11 o'clock, I was like, all right, let me redeem myself because Indiana Jones is part, because now I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better at least. Let me redeem my Indiana Jones Genie Plus thing. And I chose a late... The time they offered was like, I think, 4.30. And it was only 11 o'clock. So, what I did was at 11 o'clock, I went and put a timer on for two hours. So, at 1 o'clock... And, and granted, I'm just rounding because it could have been like, you know, 11.05 or 11.17. I don't remember exactly. But after the two hours, I was able to reserve another lightning lane. Because the two hours had passed, even though I didn't cash in Indiana Jones. Because that's four. And then I just reset the two hours and did it again. So at one point, I had like three rides on three lightning lanes. That's what stacking is. Seems like way too much work. I, I know you, you've figured it out, and I'm sure if I had other questions, you'd tell me. But it shouldn't be that complicated. Well, it's really... it's. I don't know, I feel like it's not, because I think most people just think it's... You make a lightning lane, you go, and then that's it. And any, if anything, mine is, I don't know, a, kind of a cheat, I guess. Because I think most people just think it's... Just know that it's set up a lightning lane, go to your ride, set up a new lightning lane, go to your ride, set up another lightning lane, go on your ride. So they do one after the other. But I'm, like I said, mine is the way that was done with stacking. And I'm sure I didn't do it the best way. I, I'm sure there's probably, don't look up lightning lane stacking in you, your YouTube search because I'm 100% not an expert on it. Um, but I, I did experience a little bit of it. Any final thoughts on Disneyland? Because guess what, Ross? Our next episode, we are going to 13 Days of Halloween with Universal Horror Night. Whoa. So spooky. Oh, I just thought of the question, even though I, 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 we almost forgot about it. I thought of a question for Hey, the there time. you go. So I didn't mention Shoot. two rides specifically. And this is going to be a question that, honestly, you probably are not going to be able to answer because I don't think you rode either of them. Which okay. ride is more boring in Disneyland? Casey Jr. Say Casey Jr. Circus Train versus the Storybook Boat Rides. I went on both of them and was like, this is pretty boring. But I don't know yet which... I have to think about this one. Which one is more boring than the other? I guess I'll have to Google them. Yeah, Google. It's not like you're spoiling some expansive ride experience. Go ahead, ride the ride virtually. And you tell me which one looked more boring. It's probably... 
<laughs> something like that might not even have have that. Oh, I'm pretty sure every like, single ride has a uh, video. Maybe. Alright, Russ, so any final thoughts or any words before we get out of here? Uh, no, no words, no thoughts. My brain is completely blank, as per usual. Alright, everyone. We'll catch you next time for some more 99 Years of Billion Road. <laughs>